Mark. Well, a difficult afternoon here in Bristol. What did you make of the game? Well, we're really angry. We haven't we haven't taken something from it or won it. Um, we didn't start well, but we got back into it in the first half. Deservedly got back into the game. Started the second half really well. I need to make a bit more of that, and then they get a goal out of nothing. Really, it's poor from our side, but. At that point, we've come away, we've been fairly dominant in terms of the possession that we've had, the chances we've created, and in the end, we have a lot of the ball, but we don't do enough with it and we don't cause enough problems. So, yeah, we're angry with, uh, with ourselves for taking nothing out of the game. Um, and we probably didn't have the impetus and energy right at the end that we really needed to chase the game. And that's probably a consequence of the work that had to be put into the Derby Ipswich games. Game three is always tough in that sense. Um, and we didn't have enough to, to turn the game around. So. Um, it's frustrating because Dimmy's had nothing to do second half. Yeah, it was a sort of game that toed and throwed in that sense. During the early stages, certainly the home side were on top, but got back in level at half time, you must have been pleased. Well, we didn't start very well, but they, they changed the shape again, so we knew that there was an uncertainty about how they would play. Um, we, we adjusted and changed to do that, and that contained them to a degree, and, and we've made, managed to find our way into the game as well. So. Quite pleased with that. In the second half, they obviously changed shape a couple of times. We changed, so it was a bit to and fro with the system and the shape. A lot of changes on the pitch during the game, um, and, and they looked physically like they were hanging on a little bit. They made the changes, we made some, and, and we didn't probably in the end have the impact, idea, quality um, to, to chase the game well enough. We had a couple of good entries towards the end and didn't make the most of them. We forced the goalkeeper into a couple of decent saves. For a set play, was the delivery was good, but. We never looked like we were going to really be convincing to score off one of them. So to come away and have as much ball as we did and, and have as many chances as we did, uh, it's frustrating to take nothing for sure. Um, and we're disappointed with how we chased the game in the end. Yeah, and at one all, when Bristol scored their second goal, that was at a time when we were certainly on top. I mean, one chance comes to mind in particular when Joey receives the ball, takes it onto his right and forces a brilliant save from the keeper. Yeah, we had another one where he tips it over the bar. We've got to do better in those moments, of course, but um, they're, they're key situations. But there was nothing in the game for them at that point. And, and obviously they, um, they took that. We were too deep off the restart. We didn't really get in the positions we needed to be. Um, and they've taken that moment well with a, a aggressive front three that, that cause you problems. They certainly did that this afternoon. but. Um, yeah, it's not it's not the uh, not the end to the week we wanted. It's a game that we wanted to come and take something from. And after a shaky start, I thought at half time it was one we would take something from. But we obviously haven't done that. So um, yeah, it's back to the drawing board and hopefully get some time on the training pitch if we can because we need it. Um, and then we'll see what we can do next week with uh, Sheffield Wednesday. I was just going to say, looking forward to a free week now ahead of that game next Saturday. Yeah, I mean, look, so what we have had is a really busy start to the season. I think all the clubs and. and uh, teams are the same so you end up getting players that are a little bit fatigued and pick up a few injuries and they have to play through those periods a little bit it's caught up with us a little bit the start to the season in the last couple of weeks so then when you get a full week you have to get the balance right between taking them off the grass and getting some time to recover and refresh and do the work that you need to do so the reality is we won't get really good training weeks until November because um, October is going to be a fairly brutal month in terms of the number of games that we play but we'll do what we can to get ourselves back in uh, back in some sort of shape to um, to be a good competitive opposition for Sheffield Wednesday next week. But it's been a really tough week for the lads. They've worked, worked their socks off in the main for it and, and to come away with nothing and some bruising defeats in there, it's tough. But that's what it is. That's the level that we're playing at and we've got to keep fighting to, to turn around a couple of horrible results. But um, yeah, I'm sure we'll do it. There's um, 33 more opportunities to do it. So uh, we'll go and attack them like we have done all the others.